Hi, welcome to automation testing that in in this video we are going to discuss about write data to Excel using column name and the topics we are going to cover is what is Excel you now why to use Excel important classes and important methods some of the points to remember and we'll see sample program how we can write the data to Excel and write data to Excel using column name we'll discuss about how can you know we write the test data or test results to the Excel sheet while automating any application using Selenium WebDriver and uh, the reason behind using Excel sheet is if you if you are using any data driven framework and if you want to feed so much of data to the application then we can uh, depends upon some other uh, external sources uh, we can use note uh, xml file we can use notepad we can use excel uh, among all those things excel is the best one like we can arrange the data in such a way that we can easily uh, uh, understand and know we can easily uh, show so one of the famous AP we have to use some third party apis to handle all those things uh, in that apache py is one of the famous thing that we are going to use in this to write the data to excel you uh, in selenium okay and uh, in in our previous video we have seen that uh, why to use excel no uh, why to uh, what is the necessity of using excel all these things in detail and in the previous video uh, we discussed that write data to excel using column number in this we are using column name then what is the difference between these two and what is you know importance of column name uh, once we go to the excel sheet okay we have some test data username password date created number of attempts and the results and admin user, we have some test data now if i want to read the data using column name uh, read or write uh, write uh, to the excel uh, if you use column number then you have first column second column third column fourth column fifth column and there might be so many columns it might be 15 20 25 depends upon your application and your test data so if you use number then we are, will not remember that you know which column is having number of attempts which column is having date created and which column having something else so we cannot keep uh, what do you say counting this one this is first one second one third one fourth fifth something like that so instead of that if you use column name to identify this column then it is very easy and if you if you look into your code in the future then we can easily identify that what happening exactly from where you're writing the uh, reading the data and where you writing the data okay for that uh, we will use column name okay now some of the important classes we have is file input stream file output stream to interact with the uh, files external sources and we have xsf workbook xsf sheet xsf row xsf cell something like uh, xsf font and cell style all these things all these classes we will use to write the data and read the data from the excel and we have some of the methods which are important we are we are, we are going to use in this get sheet get lost cell number set cell value this is the method we'll write the data to excel and get row get cell all these methods we will see while writing the code and below is a sample xml file uh, sorry excel file that uh, this is column and this is a row and this is sheet you know you, we, we, the normal thing what we know in the excel okay and uh, we can download apache pyjar files from their official site and some of the points to remember is row index starts from the zero and column index starts from the zero and extension of excel file is dot xls xlsx from excel 2007 okay all these things which we discussed in the previous videos please watch those videos also for better understanding okay now we'll not waste the time and we'll see one uh, sample program we'll see one standalone program and we'll see one uh, framework level how we'll use how we'll uh, customize this one and how easily we can use this uh, methods or classes when we need okay now i'll jump into my uh, ide 
now we'll create a java class i'll name it as write excel data something like that and i'll remove this one we'll start this one the standalone program public static void main string ox now we need to write, write uh, read the data first means how many cells are there which column something like that which sheet so for that we will use file input stream fis equal to new file input stream and we have to pass where our excel sheet is in our workspace uh, throws exception okay uh, th there is a chance of throwing some exceptions right whether the if uh, the file is there or not something like that so we need to handle those type of scenarios and i am copying my uh, path where my excel sheet exactly available okay this is the um, what you have my excel sheet is lying and uh, we need this is to read if i want to write something to the external sources like we have to use file output stream fos equal as of now i am mentioning as null once we read the data and once we know data where to write then we will use this object to write okay now xsf workbook workbook equal to uh new xsf workbook and we need to pass the object of file input stream means uh, we have, we have to load that information into your worksheet okay once it is done you have to write xsf sheet okay step by step first workbook then sheet then row and then column uh, workbook dot get sheet and we need to supply the sheet name from where sheet which sheet we are going to read the data here i am going to read the data from my sheet called credentials okay credentials now xsf row row equal to at present i am null and xsf cell and cell i am presently making null okay these are the classes which you are going to use to write the data to excel okay now uh, i need to get the number of uh, column num column number i need to get the column number using this column header we need column number in the previous video also we have seen the same thing but there we hard coded if you use column number it is you know difficult to to handle sc scenarios like frame where you know, if you have huge data it's not a best practice so we need column number but we will get that column number using this column name how we can see we will uh, write like this int column number equal to minus 1 we will initialize like that now we'll get that information now which row the headings are in this sheet this is 0th <coughs> sorry the row and column starts from the 0 right this is 0th so i want to read the data from the 0 row e row equal to sheet dot get row of 0 okay from the zero will read the data now i loop through uh, this row and will find where exactly my column is and will get the column number so int i called zero i less than row dot get last cell number it will give how many rows are there uh, sorry columns are there and i plus plus in this i am writing a if condition that if uh, row dot get cell of i means when is loop through from 0 to 1 and 
uh, which i like which uh, uh, iteration like get string cell value dot for the sake of um, removing the spaces trim dot equals now i have to pass from which column i have to read i'll say here i want to write the data in the result right once i uh, i use this set of data and i uh, uh, functionality got passed i want to mention pass if it is fail i want to mention fail in this result column so i'll take this result uh, column name okay then i'll come to know that where to write this is a string i have to mention this string here and if it finds okay if it find somewhere then i have to uh, mention like uh, column number is equal to i in the i location okay now uh, we got where exactly the column number okay um, something something missing we need to close this one okay i got it now same way what we discussed in the previous video same way that's it row equal she dot get row of first one means in the first uh, one means this one right this is zero at one this is first one i need to write something here okay in the first one and some while writing we need to create the row and cell if it is not available it's a best practice some sometimes uh, column will not be there row will not be there okay sheet dot create row of row number you have to use first row i am creating in the same way cell equal to row dot get cell of uh, which one this is uh, in the previous video we hard coded where it is means now we no need to do that one. now we'll pass the column number here Uh, we we have uh, get that one using the column name right we'll pass the same thing here which column here also need to if cell equal to equal to null then we need to uh, cell equal to row dot create cell of column number okay that column number we are uh, cell number we are creating once it is done now we have everything with us okay now simply what we can do uh, cell dot set cell value we need to set the value into the cell right i want to mention like pass if it is pass pass if it is fail will fail and uh, we we done everything like uh, we have created the we have created the cell and we wrote something into that but we have to push the data to excel sheet for that new file output file output stream and we need to mention the same from where we are reading what that excel sheet only right we are writing so i'll mention the same thing here and workbook dot write we need to write like this workbook dot write and we need to once it is done we need to close this uh, streams file input stream and file output stream it's a best practice otherwise we might get errors okay this much is enough to write the data extra uh, we have written is this much this four or uh, this four lines we have written extra to get the column number using this column name okay and one more thing we need to understand is if you read the data if you open the excel itself no problem but while writing the data you have to close this uh, excel sheet that is mandatory okay now i will execute this one and we'll see like whether it is writing the data to excel or not yeah it's executing yeah it completed now we'll open the excel sheet and we'll see you see here it you it it dot pass okay this way we can uh, what you say 
write the data to Excel using column number. But it is a standalone program like you cannot write this much code for each and every column and each and every cell when you are you want to in, uh, interact with the Excel. For that we will uh, use some util methods and we will call those methods whenever there is a need. For that we have one already we are writing one uh, this one right a Excel API test in our previous video we have start. We already completed get cell data using column number, get cell data using column name, set cell data using uh, column number for that we will use the same thing like uh, uh, set cell data using column number. I will copy the same thing. The reason is almost same everything except some logic. I will say here instead of column number I will say column name. Okay, column name. Now uh, same thing everything like here what we have done get sheet of credentials here get sheet of credentials will not get the reason is from which sheet we are going to read uh, write the data we don't know right we, it might be credentials it might be some other else so i'll pass that information from here okay let's write that information also uh, string cell data this is string column name okay string column name and we are passing set cell data string sheet name string column name int row number string value which we are going to pass okay now we will write this information here like same what we have written in the previous method but we will not hard code anything here int column number equal to minus one initially now we need to get the sheet which sheet workbook dot get sheet in the previous video we have seen that credentials but here i'll say sheet name which sheet name i'll pass same thing it will take okay now row equal to uh, sheet dot get row of we, we are passing this row number from the method right so no need to write a zero or one in the hard code way we'll get this from the method row is called sheet dot uh, get row. Now I'll use the same thing like for i equal to 0 i less than row dot get last cell number i plus plus. Okay same thing. Now in the same way if row dot get cell of i comma uh, get string cell value dot trim dot equals what is this one uh, when no need to mention here uh, results or something like that we need to column name which we are going to uh, coming from the parameters okay column number equals to i this much is enough like this is the use of column name to get the column number okay now normal code sheet equal to sorry not sheet uh, row equal to sheet dot get row of uh, row number and here you need to remember one thing is we will use minus one the reason is simply we will say uh, first column okay second this is the second uh, row first row second row third row fourth row fifth row we will not count from uh, zero right normally so uh, that is the reason we will use minus one uh, i want to write something into the, this second row so but uh, from excel perspective this is first row so we will use row number minus one then we will not face any issues but if row equal equal to null same way what we have done in the previous program the same way we will do here also uh, row equal to sheet dot create create row of row number here we need to pass the row number 
and the same way minus 1. Sorry, we have to close this one. Yep. Now, cell equal row dot create cell of sorry, this is get cell of get cell of um, which one here will pass column number. Okay. Here also if cell equal equal to null then we need to cell equal to row dot create cell of uh, column number. Okay, same thing apart from this for loop and we are passing these values not hard coded it is coming from our uh, method set uh, cell value string value we are not hard coding that pass or fail whatever we are passing from there uh, that will come here that is the reason I am passing this value which is coming from here this string value. Okay? Now everything is done now we need to say fos equal to new file output stream and we are not passing uh, hard coded value we will pass from the uh, this constructor we are written in the previous in the videos like right? we have created a constructor that constructor will take the excel file path and once you create an object for this it will get initialized all these things file input stream workbook everything okay that is the reason i am not hard coding anything here and workbook dot write fos and fos dot close okay that's all same thing we have written but in the uh, utility class or method okay this much is enough now we will see whether it is working fine or not we'll see we'll execute this thing like write excel data using uh, class here what we did uh, system dot sorry anyhow we have this one right we have excel api test and we have created the object for that and we are passing that excel sheet uh, location from here not uh, hard coded one okay and e dot cell data e dot cell data in the credentials okay we'll i um, will remove this one e dot set cell data okay i'll remove this one and we'll see like how many are there set cell data of 2 1 one is column number one is column name we'll use column name and which sheet credentials okay and string column name column name is will pass from here okay results now we need to mention which row you need to pass i'll say second row date first row we have uh, headings in the second row we have test data means will not count from the zero normally and uh, value what value we need to pass pass and the same way uh, i'll do for second test of data there i'll say fail okay the test data got failed and the row is third one okay that much we'll just create an object to that and we'll call the method and we'll pass this much of information that's it no need to write lines li lines of code okay now we will execute this one we have some errors one second like in the utility method we mentioned we forgot to mention int i equal 0 we simply mention i equal 0 so it got saying that there is no i value now here you go and execute the same again once again sorry in the column number it has to be i i mentioned one okay so many issues like okay we'll try once again once again this issue and one more mistake we have done is here we have we have passed this row number but it should be zero the reason is uh, in the zero row only that our headings will be so no need to mention that that information we need to mention get row from the zero okay 
get draw from the zero and still issues I have made a very silly mistake that it is not results it is result column that is the reason it is showing error now I will execute again this time it should pass yes it executed now now we'll go to the excel sheet you see just pass fail in the first column means in the second row pass in the third row it is fail whatever we have written in this uh, what do you say using this method set cell data set cell data okay this way we can create some api i made uh, two mistakes here like uh, uh, instead of calling this one zero i given this row number that is actually we know that in the zeroth column only uh, row only we have uh, headings right that is one here instead of i i mentioned one that is the two uh, things uh, i made mistake in this and there i have instead of result i said results that is the reason we have uh, got that errors everything is fine apart from that okay now uh, here we, need, we we have done what happened to this okay this one like a Excel API test right yeah in the value okay this way we can write our results into Excel sheet uh, we have seen uh, some standalone program we have seen uh, writing one util method and we'll call that method to uh, write the data to Excel sheet and we have seen these two things yeah that's all in this video thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to automation testing channel and please like us at our Facebook page.